Hi, Phil Malone here, and welcome to my uh, companion animation to my Vuforia demo walkthrough. Let's start with the basic axes. We all know about X and Y, and in this tutorial, X is always red, Y is always green. And for all the axes, we always have the negatives, which run in the opposite direction from the origin, which is shown here in yellow. But of course, uh, Vuforia deals in three dimensions, so we're going to add an extra dimension here. Uh, which is the y-axis, sorry, the z-axis. z is vertical and it has a negative. So uh, when you have these three axes, any point in 3D space can be represented by combining an x translation, a y translation, and a z translation. Uh, this is pretty useful for points, but when you're dealing with objects, you really need to start thinking about rotations as well. So we may want to rotate around an axis, for example, the x-axis. The question is, what is a positive rotation? Well, there's a convention called the right hand rule, where you lay your right hand uh, on the grid somewhere and you point your thumb in the positive direction of the axis and your fingers show you the direction of rotation. Uh, so if we were to do this around the Z axis, uh, looking uh, a positive rotation would be counterclockwise, looking down. So this is kind of useful to know. So now we're going to take this and put it in the uh, realms of an FTC field. The origin is defined by the uh, red driver station. Uh, so the origin is, in origin is in the center of the field, and the x, y, z are defined such that the positive x is to the right of the red drivers, um, the positive y is away from the drivers, and z is up. This is a, a, um, regardless of where the other driver station is. So once you have this convention, you can take an object and you can uh, move it on the field. For now, example, an image, which has been rotated and then translated in three uh, directions to get it on the playing field where you want it. Likewise you can place the robot on the field uh, and then place the camera on the robot and that's what's done in the Vuforia example. Notice that the robot also has an XYZ frame of reference. Now for the sake of the uh, tracking tutorial that this accompanies, uh, we've simplified this by putting the image in the center of the field at the origin facing down the X axis in the negative direction and place the camera of the robot um, between the two front wheels. So Vuforia will tell us several things when it sees the image. It'll give us an uh, offset on the x-axis, in this case negative, and an offset on the y-axis, which in this case is also negative. Um, and one additional piece of information it can give us, it'll tell us where the robot's pointing. And in this case, it's pointing minus 20 degrees relative to the uh, origin axis. But with doing some basic math, we can determine that the target is actually uh, a positive 30 degrees, just by doing uh, an arc tan on the x and y values, um, which we can turn into uh, a couple of other numbers. So in this case, the 50 is a relative heading, so how far the target is off the center line of the robot. And we can also tell how far away we are from the target, just by doing some basic Pythagorean math. So with those four or five pieces of information, we can decide what we want the robot to do to approach the target. We're going to uh, break down our motion into three priorities. Our first priority is going to be to have the robot turn towards the target. The second priority is going to be to have the robot translate um, towards the center line of the target. And then the third priority is going to have the robot approach the target. Now, these are all going to run simultaneously. Uh, and so what we'll end up with is a, 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 a um, compound motion which we're going to show right here. So we're going to put the robot back where it started and show it doing all three things at once. And you get this lovely curved motion that approaches the target from the front. We'll just show that slowly. So it's combining the rotation, the translation, and the approach all together as one action. And that is what the demo does.